Yet. Nope. <laughs> Welcome to the Chaos It is Family History Fanatics. We're so glad to have you here. If this is your first time joining us, my name is Devin Noel Lee, and this is my handsome husband, Andrew Lee. And if you don't think he's handsome, that's all right. He's mine. That's my prerogative. <laughs> We're excited to join you today. Um, thank you for all of you joining in. We got some new people in the house. We've got Terry. Hey, Terry. Glad to have you here. And Liza or Lisa, depending on how you say it. Uh, so thank you for all of you checking in for the first time and our loyal folks. Today, we're going to have a little bit of fun. We are going to be talking about how, oh, how do you find out if you ha are related to famous relatives? And so you want to find out if you're related to famous people. And so family search. You're related to famous people. I've solved it for you. We can end this show now. There is a website that works with Family Search, and it's called Relative Finder. And I'm going to put the the link is already in the description. <laughs> and um, the yeah, the link is in the description, and I just put it in the chat. So what you have to do in order to figure out if you're related to famous ancestors is that you have to build out your family tree. So you need to get a full family tree on some of the websites we're going to talk to. Um, today. And then that famous person that you're hoping to be connected to had also has to have their tree expanded. So let's say you're interested in name a famous dead person. <laughs> I can't think of a famous dead person right now. Um, George Washington. Let's do George Washington. Well, George Washington's family tree has to be um, his descendancy and his siblings descendancy has to be he built has out. No descendants has to be built down so for you to be connected to them. And you're supposed to say that when I was finished. Oh, well, sorry. He has no descendants. <laughs> but in any case. That's... Only by adoption. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure actually if you ever did adopt them. He might not have. Because I think, uh, no, because you know what? I don't think that they ever changed their names. So I don't think he actually did adopt Mary Custis's kids. So he has no descendants. So over on Relative Finder, it, before you log in, it'll ask you to sign into your family search account and then they'll pull stuff in. Now, I showed them first rather than um, relative uh, to family search. They have a little section because I kind of like this list view that they have here. Let me get this out of the way. Um, go away. Go away. How do I make this go away? Never mind. I'll just move it over here. All right. So it has this list view and you can see your different relatives and your relationships to them. And then can I, I you can, um, yeah, I need to make this go away. How does it go away? There we go. Sorry. I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> then on the side, you can go here and choose to filter down to various people. So I have authors and poets or I can do entertainers. And since many of us have already talked about Elvis Presley, Elvis Presley is my ninth cousin three times removed. And so I can click on Elvis and then it will load eventually. Oh, no, it's up here at the top. Okay, they're supposed to be the, there we go. All right, so here's myself. There's the handsome hip swinger himself. And then there's these funny change like up here. Oh, is that father, mother, father, mother? Uh -huh. Father, mother, father, mother, father, 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 mother, father, 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 mother, father. But let's come down here because it makes it That's a little That's like a tongue twister. It is a tongue twister. So if you keep scrolling down, eventually you're going to get to Elvis. your person. Now, it does pull in some of your um, privatized information, which I'm just going <laughs> to load this couple, okay? All right. I need a cough button. You need a cough Sorry. button. Yeah, you need to stop. This is what, I'm not going to say anything. Let's just say I don't get a lot of sleep lately. Anyway, so here's Mr. Elvis, and I'm down here, and you can see how it'll go, climb up the chain. So I have to go to my father, then I have to go to my mother, the, the mother, and then the father. And so you can zigzag all the way up, and then all the way down. Now. We're going to talk about how accurate that is a little bit later, uh, but we can go pick another one. So do you see anybody on this list? That is Benedict Arnold. Okay. 
I know something about him. There is a monument to Benedict Arnold up in Saratoga Springs, New York. It is not named. It is just his, his boot. Because he was the general that basically won the war at Saratoga Springs, which probably was one of the decisive battles in the Revolutionary War, which won it for the Americans. So just think about that. Our biggest traitor is actually the general that almost won the war for America. Yeah. So his <clears> boot <throat> is there, so his boot but is there. not him. Because they don't, because he's a traitor. You can't not named. Him. So you don't know that it's Benedict Arnold unless you happen to know that it's for Benedict Arnold. But that's what that monument there is for. Uh, so if you go up here, this John Comfort, as I was saying, he is my loyalist ancestor who left the what became the USA and he went into Ontario and he's all part of that United. So is he the one that with. planted the comfort maple tree? One of these folks did. So if you're, if you're from Ontario, do you know about the comfort maple tree? Mm -hmm. That's, that's her. She's it was famous. on a posted stamp. That's right. Mm -hmm. It's where so, they get all the maple syrup from is that one tree. No, but then one tree is like hell that it's, it is, re it is, it's really old and they have all these poles trying to keep it up. <laughs> All right, so that's Relative Finder. Um, what are people finding on Relative Finder? There's um, lots of commentary going through. <clears throat> Queen Elizabeth seems to be a popular one. Oh. I've seen a couple of people with uh, Queen Elizabeth. I don't 25th know. 25th cousin, three times removed. Oh, there you go. Okay, now this that actually leads into a question that I saw mm -hmm. because Karen also is Queen Elizabeth, is the mother in law of fourth cousin, one times removed, of husband, of wife, of grand uncle, of husband, of aunt, of husband. That sounds like wiki tree, and we're gonna come to them in a little bit. But okay, I haven't seen there was a question here. Any jumping line ones? So What's the question. Uh, the looters. Oh, that's right. I can post this. You can. Um, I recall Andy saying in one of his recent videos that everyone is related to everyone else, if one goes far enough back in time. Yes. How many generations is considered to be too far in trees? So. <clears throat> This is, this is a good question because what this is talking about is, you know, how far back you have to go. And it really depends on where the two people are from. So, for instance, if we're talking about me and anybody else from England who has ancestry from England, we probably only have to go back to about 1,200, maybe even 13 or 1,400 before we find a common ancestor with anybody who has ancestry from England. Okay. Um, some people, obviously we'd be much closer, but some further. Now, if we're just going to Europe, we probably only have to go back to about 900, 800 AD to find a common ancestor with anybody who is from Europe. You're covering up my face. Well, there was a swing where I could flip it and you'd be on top of it, but it didn't work. Oh, okay. Um, now if we're going through the whole major world and, and by that, I mean, Europe, Asia, Africa. Okay. I'm excluding Australian Aborigines there and I'm excluding Native Americans there. So if we're, we're talking about that major part of the world that was all connected, then you really only have to go back about 2000 years to find a common ancestor with that. Now, if we're talking about the whole world, obviously the whole human population that includes everybody, you know, well, then we're talking, you have to go back about 50,000, 60,000 years, mainly because there's some of these little areas of the world, um, the Andaman Islands off the coast of India or Southeast Asia, um, that have literally been isolated for tens of thousands of years. And so there hasn't been any gene mixing from the rest of the world's population. But, um, you know, the smaller geographical area that we're talking about doesn't take that long. Awesome. Okay, so that was the first one. Now we're going to go to the next one. And this one is also linked in the chat. All right. And I'm going to, um, and it's in the description. And this is famous relatives. Ooh, sorry. I was just seeing a couple of things that were cool. Okay. okay. You can come back to cool in just a minute. So if you log into family search and you've built at least partially your family tree, then the, the website will go and start looking at their massive list of pe famous people and then see if you're related to them. You can filter across the top for inventors and scientists and the filter just as a jump link. <laughs> it doesn't just say, let's filter it down. Now, one of the things I don't like about this is I can't see from the 
this homepage or this portal entry page, I can't see how I'm related to them. You have to go in to find out how you're related to them. And then it'll say my six cousins, um, six times removed. And then you can go up and then it'll tell you. Deliverance. Down. What a great name. Where? Deliverance Littlefield. Oh, nice. That's that's one of those uh, 1600s, 1700s when they had, you know, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of the other ones, patience and providence uh -huh. and deliverance. And I'm trying to remember those names have all gone out of favor. The other person that I looked on, um, let me see. Oh, oh, is it this one? Okay, so um, this is through the clay ball lines. But one of the things that I found that was interesting on family search this relative portal list is it will go through either one of your parental branches. So it goes through my grandmother's biological line and will show me how I'm related to various people. It will also go through my grandmother's adopted line. So there's a lot of the um, Marvin's, Young's, Long's, and Smith's. <laughs> <laughs> and they seem to be related to everybody. So um, that's kind of interesting. The only thing I'm not able to do here is like filter, like which line are we doing? You can't see the the relationships <coughs> on screen before you click in like relative finder. So I kind of like that. That's kind of neat. Okay. So Karen's got a quick question. Uh -huh. How do they define famous? Because she says, I think a little earlier, she doesn't have any famous relatives. Uh -huh. so, so when you go here. So. Yeah, no famous relatives found. So how do they define famous? And and Karen, I guess, in a question back to you, mm -hmm. what is your ancestry? I mean, um, De Bruin, uh, to me, looks like a Dutch name of sorts mm -hmm. or, or something over there. But I, I don't know, because mm -hmm. you might have been here in the States for hundreds of years. Sometimes they still use that. Mm -hmm. So what what is your ancestry? Just real quick. And then maybe... My ancestry? No, Karen. Oh, this okay. is yeah. This is a question to Karen. But yeah. So what what do they define as famous? You know, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I know that there's leaders, the political leaders. I will say this: it's very Americentric. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm about to go through that. So we've got these the these leaders, and right now all of but I do have Queen Antoinette, okay, and Princess of Wales. Oh, Princess Diana. Uh huh. So, oh, you're course. like 10th cousin. You could be like the Queen of England. I doubt it. You might be like 37th in line. Here's the problem. There's no paper trail. This is that biological Hankinson where you found Granny's bio dad. Mm. Yeah. 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 I have a DNA still, trail, but not a paper trail. Still, mm -hmm. you could be. You, I think I should start calling you Princess. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Princess of Los Alamos. Probably not, but they have Victoria in England. So uh, this is another one from England is what I meant to say. Not he is England. So what it sounds like is unless you are from England or the United States, mm -hmm. or it's, it's at least the leaders here are all from England or the United States. They're all presidents or kings and queens. Okay, oh, since Debbie's Diana is her 10th cousin, too. Your sister's practically. Probably, probably. All right, so can you use a different site with Relative Finder? No, it is developed, I believe, by the BYU Family <clears throat> History Lab program, and so they only use Family Search. And that, we're going to come to WikiTree in here in just a little bit. Okay, wait. Karen says that she is English. Uh-huh. So that, to me, is interesting that even, like, Queen Victoria and mm -hmm. Winston Churchill... Okay. And so, some of these early American presidents aren't even showing up. So what it could be the problem is your tree isn't built very far back on on family search. But it says my tree goes back to 1600 on several mm. lines. So that's that's why that's why I'm like, huh, you may be the special one, Karen, she that the special. all of your relatives were chambermaids. Chambermaids or something. And so mm -hmm. yeah, or 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 Family Search hasn't flagged your famous relatives as famous. That is a possibility because I don't. We don't work for Family Search, so we don't know how they tag things. And I haven't seen the whole literature of who is famous, who isn't. Now there is one thing you do need to know is that when you find a famous ancestor, most of the profiles on Family Search are not locked, but the ones on this left list are. So you can't alter their profile. You can't add pictures. You can't add stories. Nothing. 
So those ones are locked. So it might have something to do whether that profile is locked or not. It could also have something to do that Family Search hasn't tagged them to be part of this system. So just so you know, D. Lutter's Prince Diana's his, his or her seventh cousin. Oh, three so times he's removed. he's so he's more valuable. He's more you. valuable than you guys. Yes. There you go. So we're now having competition. <laughs> So yeah, who who is who is the closestly related to uh, Princess Di? I guess is is the next question. Uh -huh. um, right now, seventh cousin is the best yeah. that uh, anybody has. Although John Tyner, my third great grandfather, met Queen Victoria. There you go. Okay. There you go. That now, counts for like being in line to the throne. I think. I've got to make sure I show. I'm not sure how this whole throne <laughs> passing down goes. I think you have to do more than meet. Uh, the other thing about these famous people, since this is created by the Family Family Search website, um, a number of people want to know if they're connected to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So if you see church leaders, you're not necessarily going to see a pope or a bishop or John Wellesley or something like that. You're really going to be seeing different LDS uh, so, prominent people. So let me ask you something here. Mm -hmm. Can you see how Elvis is related to Queen Elizabeth on this? Not on this website. Okay, so you can't like see how these no. famous people are related to each no, other. No, but let's pick pick an, an a, one you wouldn't think of. What do you mean? Pick a, like, I need a famous person. Famous person. Davy Crockett. Okay, Davy Crockett. All right, let's go here. So we're going to go find, because there's two ways. Um, we're going to go find. Oh. Hold on a second. Where's families? You beat I, out Greg. He's 11th cousins with Princess Di. Oh, I beat you? Hmm. Sorry about that. Okay, Davy Crockett. Davy. Okay. I beat David. It could be. Actually, I'm going to do Death Smith. You guys got to go learn about Death Smith. He's really cool in Texas history. Who's Death Smith? I never heard of him. He is actually, he was actually deaf. And his one, name was Death? No, he it was Death. So why is his name Death? Because they called him. That was his nickname. His name is Erastus Smith, I believe. Erastus right. Death Smith. How did you know this? I wrote a report about oh, him. Oh, wait a second. Grade. He was from Duchess, New York. He might be related to me. He could be. He could be. But I'd have to log in as you. Okay. So he was, he was at the Alamo and he ran messages to other leaders about the, from the Alamo. He ran them out to the other Texas um uh, army for like Goliad and those places and to Sam Houston. And so his job was to run that message. And so in this essence, he's one of the survivors of the Alamo. Anyway, so I did a research report on him and you might be thinking, well, how can I find he out didn't if survive I'm related much to him? after the Alamo? No, not very much. Cause the Alamo was in 1836, wasn't it? But he died in Richmond, Fort Bend County, Texas, which is where I, that's why you were doing this. Fort Bend County title. And so that's no, why you wrote because he was from there? Or? I did the report when I was in third grade. I hadn't even made it out to Fort Bend like, yet. Hey, anyway. is there a Deaf Smith County in Texas? There is a Deaf Smith oh. He's named after him. All this time I lived in Texas, I know nothing about Texas history. Yeah, because you didn't take Texas history in high school. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> or middle school. Or elementary school. <laughs> anyway, so if you want to find out if you're related to somebody famous or because he doesn't make the list. Why not? He's cool. So but, Karen, yeah. What's their criteria? Because somebody like Def Smith should be on there. Okay, so Julia's already figured out that she's, she's related. Six cousins, six times removed. Yes. So we're gonna click on him. He's related to you. Woohoo! <laughs> and, and go up, go up, and I'll tell you. Okay. So <clears throat> who do you think it's gonna be through? Because it's, it's through gonna be through the quicks, prob. Oh no, wait a second. It's through Grandma Brewer. Ooh. I have no idea then. All right. So family search will take it through you or your spouse. That's kind of nice. Um, but after that, it has to be mother, father, mother, father connections. So we're going to go up here. The Brewers, the Richards, the Richards, the Wilds. The I, this Kirtland, is into a line. I have no Pratt. clue who this is. You got a Pratt. This Pratt is from England. Yeah, this is this is online. I have no idea about. So. so, question: Do you think this could? be, At what point do you start getting questionable about the accuracy? Okay, Silas Richards is good. Um, 
that's all all I know is up to Silas Richards. I haven't looked anything before that. Okay. I'm not saying that it's not good. So I'm just saying I haven't Augustus looked anything before. Augustus is from Spottyville, Virginia. Spotsville. Oh, it's not, not Spottysville? Spots. Spotsylvania. Spotsylvania. Spottyville. <laughs> we were both wrong. <laughs> I can't read. Spotsylvania, like. Virginia. What? I thought Spotsylvania was in Pennsylvania. Oh, no, that's Pennsylvania, not Spotsylvania. I don't know. I know nothing <laughs> about Spotsylvania. So, but this, this Richard... Silas, was he from Virginia? He was. He's from Ohio. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. I thought these were your Kevin or no. St. Kevin people. No. Anyway, so. See, I thought he was going to, since since he was from Dutchess County, uh -huh. New York, I was thinking that he would be related through like the quick line, yeah. which were from Dutchess County, New York. And it's entirely possible they don't tell you the multiple lines. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you're on family search and you know a famous relative that you want to see or a famous person, you want to see how you might be related. That is the backup way instead of the master list way of checking. OK. All right. I'm going to hold on to this here in a little bit. I got to remind myself to come back to this guy. <clears throat> so I'll do that. We'll so wait a second. What was our relationship to Jeff Smith? Jeff Smith. Yeah. How How many? Oh, cousins sorry. was I? Okay, well, it told me in terms of me, and you're gonna have to take it. So your fifth, fifth cousin, cousin, six, six times, times removed. removed. So I am closer related to him than Julie was, just <laughs> by one cousin. Oh no, someone had to. It hasn't finished calculated for us now. Oh, I'm sorry. That's that's sad. All right, so we're gonna get out of that. So the next one is over on WikiTree. So if you're a wiki treeer, you can put hashtag wiki treeer in the comments right now. Um, dude, this is the one that helps me the most. Pick a famous person. Amelia they, Earhart. The, the aviator. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you need to do in order to do this is, and this is all Chris's fault if I'm doing it wrong. I didn't this realize is how that she was married. Wife of George Palmer Putnam. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't, I didn't realize, I didn't think that Amelia Earhart was married. I thought. That's why you have to go to wiki tree. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you click on Family Tree Tools. Okay, make this a little bit bigger. So you can see you click on this Family Tree Tools, and then you can do a control find or just scroll and come down connection to me. <laughs> and then this is when it's gonna show you how you're connected. So um, there's two ways. So I'm 18 degrees from her. Um, her father, his mother, his her father, her sister, her husband, whatever. Or I could switch the path and then it's, whoops, no, sorry. I can reverse the view and then it starts to me and then I can go, okay, so why their father? Wait that's a second. What's the difference between the greens and the yellows? I think those are direct and then that's a jump. What? Are you I'll jump? show you the <clears throat> jump. So you have to go up my line to William Peak and then, oh, his, wife, then his wife and then his son. Her, uh, his son. See, that's kind of confusing. Oh, his wife. Oh, the brother. Sorry. Brother. Her brother. What? Oh, William Peake's her brother. Okay. So Sarah Peake is your ancestor's brother. Yes. So and that's then, a marriage one right there. And then we go to his son, his son. Oh, my gosh. So this is like not going back. Uh -huh. This is going. So these are what I call the hops. This isn't a hop. Because look, you're going. <clears throat> down. Down. Over, down, his, 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 his brothers, and but then it goes back up. <laughs> it's like they're so they're they're including the married in things. Yeah, so but the they're in going down and up and down. And mm -hmm. up. Yeah. Now I do have to say the one thing I'm not too crazy about. I mean, I like this. It's kind of cool, but we're going down, right? And for me, my brain wants it to go go up my tree and then down and stuff like that. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm a little confused. It's like, okay, well, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. But yeah, they include what is the shortest path there now? So this is like six degrees of freedom with Kevin Bacon. Yes. Does However, have, is Kevin Bacon on here? Uh, I mean, he's living, so. Wiki Triers, is Kevin Bacon on there? And if so, what is his code? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, now, um, 
this is the shortest path connection. If I want to find out if I have a common ancestor, that's when I do this one. So I go and I click it that way, find connection. And now I'm 26 degrees. So it's changed. There is a Kevin Bacon. Thank you. I knew they, you, you asked the crowd. They know 26 degrees and then Whoa. I can go here. Okay. So real quick. <clears throat> Not the river. This is, path. this is. The diff major difference here is this is telling you 26 degrees, not your sixth cousin six times removed. Uh -huh. This is the one where it was like my fifth cousin twice removes, brother's second cousin. <laughs> yeah, that was the one uncles. with the shortest route. Okay. The common ancestor one is we come up here, brother, wife, son, and it goes that way. So the father... And the brother, the Cersei. So there's probably another Cersei, but I'm let me zoom out. Yeah, there, there's probably someone down here. No, because it's Reuben's his brother. But wouldn't they have a generation back that's the parent? Is this here? Oh. Robert Cersei is both of their. Okay. So Maybe. it's going to take know. me a while to understand this view just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> But I do like this one because it shows that it's not, you know, straight up and straight back like the other two. Does that make sense? Okay, here's Kevin Bacon. Okay. Bacon, 2568. Bacon, is it a dash? Yes. I think that you guys on Wikitree should get Bacon, Kevin Bacon's change to Bacon-6. <laughs> Just saying. So we're, uh, okay, so this is the other view that I was looking at. So we are in this way, four cousins twice removed. okay so this is this is the way that is similar to what family search has mm -hmm. that it's just a straight relationship mm -hmm. <clears throat> all right so now if i go over here and i do that family tree tools come on down to connections to me 21 degrees to kevin bacon and then i'm going to do this so i have to go up the Hankinsons, go figure. <laughs> Everything's through the Hankinsons. Well, for if a while. If it wasn't while, for the Hankinsons, you'd be related to nobody. Well, for a while, it was just the clay boss. Aww. And now that I've got that DNA family, it's through the Hankinsons. So here's here's the challenge on, on Wikitree then is, can you find a six degree separation with Ke Kevin Bacon on this? No, I'm not saying you, I'm talking to everybody that's watching. <laughs> okay. Find a six degree separation to Kevin Bacon. So right. bacon dash two five six eight, go to work. If you have six degrees or less of separation between Kevin Bacon, then you win. And if we happen to have Kevin Bacon's brother or sister that is watching, that is cheating. Um, but we'll give you the prize anyway because there's no prize. Now, if I go to the common ancestor view, this is more collapse. Oh, uh, because what? it's more direct. It's straight up and then straight oh, okay. up through my town leave. Well, so go up. That's a, what, is, that, is that when Kevin Bacon graduated or something? Or is that just a cool picture? Of Kevin I don't Bacon? know. Kevin Bacon. It's not very big. Oh, yeah. They didn't even use a good picture of Kevin Bacon. <laughs> but if you go straight up to my town leave, no surprise there. Um, and now in the 1457. 1400, you're related to Kevin Bacon. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. So that's two ways that you can use it over on Wikitree. And he's notable. He is notable. He has a notable flag. All right. So now I need to go. Um, I need you to talk because I need to pull up something behind the scenes or ask questions. I was going to say. So so one thing I was saying is there or noticing was there's going to be a little fight here with the uh, people that are tenth cousins with Princess Di. <laughs> Um, you might have to resort to medieval, you know, killing off all of the other potential heirs so that you can gain the throne. Um, because a lot of people but are But she in isn't this... inheriting the throne. Her son is. Yeah, it's, that's all, you know, English throne killing, divorce, <laughs> Henry VIII type of stuff. You know, we can we can figure that out later. Um, ooh, Kevin, Debbie Root is ninth. Cousins, two times removed. So that would be 11 degrees. Debbie's in the in the lead right now. All right. Um, yeah, am I talking enough or do I need to talk some more? One more. One more. Mm -hmm. um, one more. Let me see if there's some really interesting thing 
I thought there was here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the color changes our marriages. John brought that up. Um, so whether when it changes from green to yellow, that means there was a marriage there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, fourth cousin, husband's uncle, mm -hmm. fourth cousin, one time removed. So Karen, you're like closer in line to the throne through your husband. And like we said, with this whole British royalty thing, we can I have it. Nothing about. We can, we can go, you know, you're, you're closer than Meghan Markle is, I think. <laughs> um if that helps i'm not sure if that's bragging rights or not all right so now um we're gonna talk a little bit about accuracy um there we go what about it all right okay we're gonna talk about the accuracy of this line because it's fun to say hey i'm related but then the question becomes is it accurate no How, why so i'm just saying no oh <laughs> I'm, I'm making a, a rough guess. Okay. Now, Wikitreeers, you can back me this up. On Wikitree, their goal is that everybody is documented with good sources. Okay. So it's possible that your relationships with Wikitree could be, I always say could, because there's always room for hiccups. Um, those could be more accurate. And so shortest path to Wikitree, um, it looks like this. So it's got these hoppies, the marriage hops. Okay. All right. You've got the marriage hops. But if I go to a common ancestor view, I click on that common ancestor, click on that. And they haven't found a connection for me yet. Okay. So if I go back to relative finder, it goes up through the Hankinson line. And as it, the research we've done is to establish Delbert and Agnes. Um, others have researched to about William, um, Thomas Kramer and Sarah, and things get a little iffy. Um, but beyond that, I'm not really sure how accurate this is. I would have to go vet it. So the question is, how much do I really want to vet in order to get to Eisenhower? That's a question we all have to figure out for ourselves. All right. But here on Family Search, I know that it's different. It is different. It's a different line. So the, the one on Relative Finder goes through the biological line, and the one on Family Search goes through her adopted line. But isn't Relative Finder using Family Search info? It is. Very, very. <clears throat> so okay. you could have multiple paths of relationships to these various people, but there really isn't a way to switch the lines for have them show the multiple paths. Gotcha. Um, but when we're talking about accuracy, I know I have validated to John Watterson Long and Hannah Patterson Moore. There is a letter by his granddaughter, so Harry Howard's sister that identifies the name of his father as Robert and Elizabeth and names the um, the children, that's where the records dry up. But what do you see right here? That there's a surname for this Elizabeth. And then it starts building a tree backwards. And I don't believe it to be accurate. Now, because I haven't fully vetted it out and looked at that other person's research, because we kind of have this YouTube channel and I never have any free time, um, I haven't gone in there to figure it out. But I do know there's a big question mark, a big red flag. So it is fun to look at these tools to figure out your re um, famous relatives, but I'm going to invite you to use a heavy dose of skepticism on anything that pulls for family search. Um, not that it's bad. It's, you know, it isn't fully vetted on family search on Wikitree. I would tend to feel like it's a little more accurate because those researchers are very serious about it, having sources for everybody that's on the tree. The quality of the sources are going to have to be reevaluated just like everybody knows in genealogy. You can't just accept a tree that's online. You need to go validate it as well. Um, so that's how you can find out if it's, um, you're related to famous people. That's also be careful with whether you start saying tattooing, I'm Elvis's cousin on your arm. 
it's probably not the smartest thing to do. I wouldn't do it. So what kind of comments and questions have you guys had come in? I know some people had referenced Dropper D. Lee. They're more Lee than you are. Yeah, <laughs> T totally. Um, although I did find I did find one thing out hmm. when I was doing some research, um, just in general. There's no male line matri or not matrilineal, patrilineal descendants of Robert E. Lee. So none of the Lees that are alive in America today are directly descended from Robert E. Lee. Hmm. He just he had he had a couple of sons. But I think all of his grandchildren were girls or they didn't have kids or else it was just one more generation. But in any case, um, that part of the, if you're if you're a Lee in America, you're related to one of the other Lees that are Robert E. Lee's relatives. All right. But unless you're part of this California group of Lees that I'm a part of, that you just had your relative change his name and make it up five generations ago. Okay, so this was a comment from Stacy earlier. An actual famous cousin is not on here, so Family Search must be categorizing him as famous, and that is Thurl Ravenscroft. Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure how they are categorizing various people. Ooh. It could be through the Relative Finder group, and then they flag it. And how is this guy not on there? He's like Tony the Tiger from Frosted Flakes. Everybody that is like between the ages of 30 and 60 knows this person's voice. Yeah. Tony well, the Tiger? I know, right? They're great. But go over to Relative Fun Finder because I was trying to show you Chris Pratt, that I was related to Chris Pratt. He's my ninth cousin. Oh, yeah. Closer than Elvis. Um, however, there was another comment. Somebody said, does it always take this long for Relative Finder to load? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So, it took me a while this morning. And then when we went live, it, it just wouldn't load Chris Pratt. All right. So Greg asked, for, based on what I said, does this mean that Robert E. Lee's Y-DNA is now lost to history? No, it's he not. has a, a nephew? Well, had because he has brothers. He had uncles, mm -hmm. you know. So there's still the same Y-DNA that Robert E. Lee had. And this is the same with like George Washington, I think, probably. Mm -hmm. His Y DNA is still around because he has other. I'm not sure if he had brothers, um, but he has, you know, uncles or things like this that might be. So even though somebody may not have descendants, their Y DNA may still be around simply because of the relatives that they have. There you go. That All just right. didn't come through him. Mm -hmm. So Stacy, I hope that you saw the way to sh um, determine if you're related to somebody on Family Search. I haven't found a way to put in two different people to find out how you're related. I do. I did find out you can go click on somebody's profile and then view relationship. If there's no known relationship between your husband or your spouse to them or yourself to them, then they'll say no known relationship found. Okay. Oh, and by the way, Ribble Gibble said that they kill off all the uh, cousins for, uh, you know, that aren't part of the royal family. So you guys are in jeopardy. I don't think so. I think I'm good. <laughs> all right. So then there was another question. Is there a new app yet for finding famous relatives? And then some praise for us. Thank you so much, Pamela. I appreciate that. Um, I I don't know if there's actual app for mobile because I typically don't do mobile family history research because it just my my phone just doesn't have that much capacity. Um, but there are three different website ways to look for famous um, ancestors. Now, there used to be a famous relative app associated with ancestry, but they killed that a, a, a few years ago. So. All right. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, so this is a, a question that I saved for now. How should you act with living famous relatives? Many sites say not to add living persons, but I've seen that famous well-known person seem to be in different groups since someone had added them. So on uh, as you can see, Kevin Bacon is still alive. <laughs> as far as I know. He's over on WikiTree. Um, and I can't speak to the rules of living people on WikiTree. 
on family search, family search would prefer you not to make anybody living marked as deceased. Um, you can, add, I mean, don't kill off the living is what, right. And we call that hashtag paper murdering. Yeah. We don't <laughs> want to paper murder anybody. Um, so I would leave living people alone. If there are living people in the platform, um, chances are they got added by a family search staff, but then they would be violating their own rules. So I'm not entirely, but you wouldn't be able to see them because they're living. <sighs> But if there, if it just gets a little bit complicated because when you add somebody to the living that is living to the family search family tree and you add them, then they are in your private space and nobody else can see it. Now I'm not going to go add Chris Pratt to my private profile. That that would make no sense because he's a ninth cousin and somebody else can deal with him. I mean, you know, hey, if I ever meet him, they're like, hey, we're ninth cousins, but that's about it. Um, How do you know your ninth cousins? Because I saw it on the Relative Finder. Oh, because so the Relative Finder. It uses a different famous ancestor list than Family Search does. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So the chances of finding Tony the Tiger guy might be over there. And then if he's not, then you could make a request to the yeah, relative so to find the people. Whoever, whoever had that Tony the Tiger man, go go to Relative Finder and make a request that Tony the Tiger be put on there. Uh-huh. Um, that's a famous voice. They're great. But Just by saying Tony the Tiger. Tony the I'm Tiger is over on Wiki Tree. Okay. That's the thorough <laughs> Ravenscroft. <laughs> now, another thing you could do is if you're really trying to find out if you're related to a famous celebrity that's living, you could go one generation back and go see if their parents are deceased and then click on them and do the view how you related. That is is one thing you can do. All right. Tiffany wanted to know why we were asking for selfies earlier. Oh, uh, the selfies. That is so that, um, let me turn this off real quick. Um, that is for the intro. So I can change up the intro with you guys there. Oh. And then the way to you send me your selfies is to Devin at familyhistoryfanatics.com. And then it just makes the intro more fun because it has you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh Matt, you know what? I have no idea. I haven't figured Masquerade? this out yet. What do you mean? So there, I might have to take a while to bring this up, but um, let's see if it will work. You talk about something else. Response. So when I hear masquerade, what I think of is I think of some musical where they're having, it is probably like, Phantom of the Opera. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. There's like some musical song about masquerade where they're all dancing around with masks on. And and so whenever you say masquerade, that's why I'm thinking masquerade. Or I can't sing that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I can sing it in my head. I just can't sing it out. You know, that. Um, yeah. We need to have more masquerades, right? <laughs> all right. So masquerade... Oh, I know what it was. I actually did figure this out. Masquerade is this little right here. Okay. Make that go away. What is the pop-up thing? To explore masquerade. To explore relatives of this person. So when you click on that, let's see how long it takes. It's under the relatives menu. Yep, that's right. It's under the relatives menu. And then it will go and look for other relatives of them. <clears throat> So Lester Brown, Bushman. So this list is slightly different than my list. Okay. So those are the famous people that he's related to? I believe so. Yeah. So Dwight Eisenhower is to this Lester Brown dude who's an entertainer of some kind. So masquerade, you can just get lost in seeing how famous people are related to other famous people. Gotcha. So if you're trying to do a project of who is Obama related to or something, mm -hmm. then you can figure out where he is on the tree. And you can masquerade. And, and you can masquerade. See how close to Kevin Bacon mm -hmm. President Obama was. Yeah. So C. Davis, do you have to upload a tree to each of the three sites? Okay. That's a very interesting question. So... Upload is not something you do to family search or to wiki tree. You so have, no. I mean, there, but. hold on. So you can't upload your JetCom file and put that into the genealogy section, but that doesn't put it into the active tree. 
And um, so in Wikitree, you have to add your people there. And the more profiles you add, the more Wikitreeers are super duper excited. So adding profiles over there is great. Family search, um, chant, there's a couple of things. One, your people could already be in there. Two, they could um in there connected, and all you have to do is log in, put in your first deceased relative, and psh, you have a tree. Um, the other thing is there's a lot of duplicates because in 2012, Family Search dumped in a database and they put all these different partial little twiggy branches and some fuller trees, and they dumped it into tree and say, here, fix it. And so um you can't upload because that's just not the nature of those two platforms. Yeah. So but for relative finder, mm -hmm. that's pulling from family search. Right. So once you have your stuff in family search to your nearest deceased relative, then family finder is going to be able to find all of that. Now, Greg had said you have to verify each person in the GEDCOM upload. So start with a very call. Okay. So that may be true, <laughs> but my experience, it didn't work out too well. It, yeah, it just didn't work out too well for me. I, I must just not be lucky <laughs> because when I tried to add my tree using the JEDCON method, it just found, could these people match? Yes. And then nothing happened. So. Sorry. I may be wrong saying you can't upload it, but my experience is that it didn't work. And yeah. I had a small tree. Art by Kim Ann. Yeah. Just add people yourself rather than the JEDCON file. <laughs> that's going to be, that's going to be easier. Uh huh. All right. What else? Oh, hey, Mindy. There you are. There's my Wikitree expertise. So she could probably resolve whether you can upload your JEDCOM file. And maybe she just say, I just, I wasn't lucky. I'm not entirely sure. But um, in any case, those two websites do better when you just add profiles manually. Because you're going to eventually have to add profiles manually. So, yeah. Um, okay. Does Wikitree connect to like Roots um, Magic or any of those? Okay. Roots Magic <clears throat> only works on Family Search and Ancestry just because those APIs from Ancestry and Family Search train so much and give the programs programmers so many headaches that they just have opted at this time, according to the interview that we did with them that got corrupted when I tried to edit the video on YouTube. Yay. Um, they said that, that in the, in the foreseeable future, it's probably. They now they had considered working with Wikitree because they are a little more stable platform, but no, not to Wikitree. Okay. Mm hmm. Add a verified. Let's see what else. Are there any other questions before we go? <laughs> any other comments on Princess Diana? <laughs> Twi oh, some, I love this. I found and merged a bunch of those Twiggies. 2012 uploads, some of them help take my lines further back. Absolutely. So when I started using Family Search in 2012, when the new, new Family Search, and anyway, that's confusing. Anyway, what we see now, <laughs> when uh, it was released in 2012, and I spent the next year and a half fixing all of the duplicates and getting things untangled. And for the most part, everything has stayed put. Um, there have been some hiccups, but if you set aside your pride, and speak humbly with and kindly to the people that make the changes, you may find either you were wrong, I found that, or the other person just didn't have the knowledge you have. And if there's fights, then watch my video interview with James Tanner, and he's going to tell you the solution to the fights. Can we all just get along? <laughs> Off with their heads. <laughs> How broad. Yeah, so, so Ripple Giggle has made a threat to all of those who are related to Princess Di, or at least those that are more distantly related to Princess Di. Um, be watching. Be watch your back. If you're a 10th cousin or 11th cousin, be watching your back. <laughs> but she doesn't inherit the crown. Again, going back to so this don't whole knock me off. monarchy thing and how it gets passed down, I think that it's possible. Oh, wow. That's a fun memory. She was there the day I died. She died. Aww. In Germany? I thought she was in France when she died. I was in Germany when she died. And I remember that day the UK soldiers were so sad. Wow. That's fun. <laughs> I was in Canada. Mm -hmm. you were That's in all. Canada? I, I don't Canada. remember. I don't remember when I where I was when she died. 
Oh, okay. What's the reference to a Twiggy thing? Oh. <laughs> I, you know what? I love people who ask these questions. Okay. So thank you for brave enough to ask. So the Quiggy thing, that's what I'm referencing to when Family Search in 2012 created the family tree that we're working on right now, the back end part. And so I talked about this several times on these videos. So if it gets repetitious, I'm sorry. But for those of you who don't know, I want you to be up to speed. So Family Search took like five or six different databases of information they have. Part of it was uh, LDS church membership. Some of it was a temple record collection. Depending on how old you are, you may remember the IGI or the personal, what was the P, that PAF was the program, but the, the pedigree resource file. Um, that was another one. And then there were just several other little databases they had and they dumped it all into one master database with the ability to edit relationships and edit profiles and invited people to clean up the family tree. So a twiggy person could be someone who was pulled out of what we, in, in the IGI, they would go and look the people who data entered the information, that's the they. They would go and they would look at maybe a church record in St. Covenant, England, and it was a baptism record and it would list the child and the parents and potentially some other relatives. So that was put into the database as a twig. You've got the parents and the child creating this little twig. And you could have multiple of those twigs because the parents could have multiple kids. Plus they get married and that's another little twig. And then all of that has to get merged together. And then as you build that family out, then now you start having a branch or a bush if you have any dog. <laughs> But that's what a little Twiggy means. Uh, all right. I have a tree now as well, if not. Roots Tech doesn't have a tree. Roots Tech uses the Family Search app. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if you're asking about the relatives at Roots Tech and trying to you know sign up and see who all you're related to as of this recording this morning when i logged in to see who my relatives it i just went, have a number yeah it, it's they said it just went live here in the last hour so see that's always what happens i'll release a video show you how to do these cool things on a site and then they go and change it <laughs> go figure Anyway, they, they said they were going to wait until the weekend of the conference. So I'm surprised that that went. Maybe there was too many people going, stop advertising, and then not. So anyway, we need to wrap it up. Thank you guys for joining. If you have a suggestion for a future video um, for live, just so fun, because I thought it was so fun to see you guys going and trying out this tool, seeing how you related, that type of stuff. Um, something like that or, or another question that we can deep dive together in, be sure to send me that idea suggestion at devin at familyhistoryfanatics.com. If you have a picture of yourself watching any of our videos or wearing any of our merchandise, we would love to have that and incorporate it in our countdown um, thing. Plus, I, I print some of them off so I can have an, my inspiration void when I get film a video, then I can see all of the fans and then I'm like, oh, yay, I'm going to do this for you. So Devin at familyhistoryfanatics.com, share that with those um, video ideas and your selfie pictures. Um, and that's a wrap. We'll see y'all later. Bye.